guys welcome back to the channel so this is going to be a high-end uh, makeup routine and the reason why is because I filmed this video yesterday where it was going to be a first impressions of the tartlet uh, bloom palette and then I accidentally formatted my SD card so that was that was wonderful so what I ended up doing was like okay because now I know that the Tarte palette is great it's very pigmented the shadows are buttery and um, it blends in very very nicely as you will see in the video I just kind of thought that it's impossible it's it's just not right for me to lie and still call it a first impressions if I've used it already so this is just going to be a high-end foundation makeup routine um, I did this makeup now because I'm actually on my way out with a friend but I wanted you to see some of the products that I'm using on the high-end front. If you would like to see this video, it's a little bit of a long one because I explain everything and I show you exactly what I'm using. But if you'd like to see it, then please keep watching. <laughs> please keep watching. So, I'm going to be testing out this, this beautiful. I'm, I'm a little bit tad but upset about this because I filmed this look yesterday and it was a proper first impressions because I was using it for the first time. It turned out great, amazing, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh, first impressions, oh my God. I've seen it, I've filmed with it. So it's basically going to be a high-end makeup foundation. So makeup foundation routine. <laughs> so everything that I'm going to be using is high-end makeup. I'm sorry if you're somebody who doesn't like high-end makeup, but you know I like to mix and match between. So today I'm going to be using high-end makeup, but the feature of this video will be the Tarte uh, Tartlet in Bloom palette. So if you'd like to see how this beautiful, wonderful palette applies, keep watching. Okay, so I'm first going to start out by priming my eyes. Obviously, it's very important. So for that, I'm going to be using the... Oop, I'm looking at the mirror. As you guys know, that's how the setup always is. I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro, Lorac Behind the Scenes uh, Eye Primer. So I'm just going to start out by uh, just the overall uh, base color all over my lid. So whew. one thing I can tell you about these shadows is that they are very, very pigmented, very pigmented. Uh, there is a lot of fallout, which is, you know, I noticed that that happens a lot with the... With a lot of high-end shadows that I own, uh, Anastasia, Lorac, and uh, Tarte, I don't know which other ones I do own that I can't remember right now, but with a lot of the ones that I do own, I've noticed that there is, fallout is a real thing with those shadows, but I think it's because of the way in which they are formulated. But it, it, it really, you can handle fallout as long as pigmentation is on point. Fallout is not a real thing. Um, so I think on the upper part of my lid, like right here, I want to add this rebel color, which is here. I think I'm going to use this on the outer part of uh, my eye. I really want a soft look today. I don't want a... Uh, heavy look. I really don't. My makeup application is messy, ne? but it's what I do with the foundation and all that afterwards that makes a hell of a lot of a difference, okay? And I'm just going to take it just above the eye lid. <laughs> it's long ago time. <laughs> and then uh, pretty much the last color that I'm going to use on this is my favorite one firecracker <sighs> firecracker is so pretty it's oh man it's so pretty you'll see you'll see what I mean ready do you see that okay 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 girl mm -hmm. yeah
I keep looking in the viewfinder to make sure that all is well in the world. <laughs> and then just to blend this part out, I'm just gonna go, I think I'm gonna go back in with Rebel. So I'm gonna drop into, go into Firecracker again and extend it right into my tear duct area. And I normally have to go really deep into my tear duct area if I want it to appear, especially on camera or, you know, I don't have those nice tear duct areas that make people do wondrous things. So tap into Rebel again with a small brush. This is the one that came with the Naked palette. And run it underneath. Ooh, 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 powder in my eye. Powder in my eye, girl. Powder in the eye, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Both eyes. Next, uh, the foundation for today is Double Way Nude. This was a gift from my sister. My sister actually gets me makeup, guys. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. So, I'm going to apply this directly onto my skin. Love the double way nude because it is a more liquid, uh, liquidy, <laughs> as I always say, a more liquid uh, foundation than uh, double wear, which is uh, a, a lot thicker. When your lips are the same canvas as your face, then the true color of the lip product that you're going to be using on your lips comes out a lot more, so that's good. For concealer, I'll be using Double Wear Stay In Place uh, Flawless Concealer in 4N, which is medium deep. Sasha. Sasha is great because the yellow is really really good um, for brightening up that uh, area underneath the eyes. It's very, very, as you can see, you see, I haven't applied it yet, but you can already see that the yellow is brightening up that area. And then after that, I am going to be going in with my blush, and this is Max Sweet as Cocoa. This is the blush that I'm currently using every single day. Um, and just sort of give a light dust flush of color. Of course, Contour Bobbi Brown. This is by far my favorite, favorite um, contouring powder. Okay, so I'm back. The eyelashes are on. Yep, the eyelashes are on. If you see a little bit of white, it's, still, it's probably still drying. I just put them on now. And then for my lips, I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Veronica liquid lipstick, which I never use with a lip liner because I just love the color on its own. Just overline the lips a little bit there, but it's okay. Last but not least, uh, MAC Fix Plus. It looks so nice. There you go. Told you that with the lashes on, you're winning, honey. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video of me using this amazing, this beautiful, this awesome palette. It's beautiful. The shadows are pigmented. They blend in so well. By far, Tarte is just, yeah, it's my new high-end eyeshadow uh, love, but... I really love this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.